All right, we got Alan West joining us right now on another country that's raising eyebrows. This one, Iran, and this one uh, getting some business deals before we even have a deal, particularly from Europe. So I uh, mean, thanks, Colonel, that uh, they are looking forward to continuing to do business, if not with the United States, certainly with some uh, eager Europeans. What do you make of it? Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's a pleasure to be with you, Neil. And when you had the United Nations Security Council uh, unanimously endorse the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, the Iranian nuclear deal, that gave a signal to many European businesses that those markets were going to be open. And furthermore, you have already seen China talking with Iran about Ch Iran purchasing uh, fighter jets from China in uh, exchange for oil from uh, Iran. So you will see their oil markets open up. And we're talking talking about the number one state sponsor of terrorism in the world and also a country that has immense human rights violations, but yet we're about to make them an economic But you know, currently, uh, if you think about it, despite your warnings and your fears and that were well telegraphed in advance, I mean, uh, I even think that if we were to reject this deal, the Iranians don't care because now since the UN Security Council has voted for it unanimously, the likes of France and Germany will resume business, lift sanctions with this country. And they're back in business, right? They are back in business, but the thing is the United States of America needs to stand on principle. And we can do exactly what we did with South Africa when they had apartheid. We can look at instituting sanctions against countries and also companies that are doing business with the Iranians. Look, Neil, the economic boom that is going to come to Iran by way of the billions of dollars of unfrozen assets they'll get back, that's not going to go to the enrichment of the quality of living of the Iranian citizen. That's going to go to Hamas. Hezbollah, the Houthis, and all the other things that the Iranians are doing. And don't you think it's quite interesting that General Qasim Soleimani, who is the head of the coups force, who was under an international travel ban, was just recently in Russia talking about arms negotiations and You're deals. right about that. You're right about that. Colonel, it's always a pleasure. I always learn a lot, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Thanks. my friend. Thanks, Neil.